A lot of damage here in northern Harford County, northern Bel Air area. We are here on the Church Mouse Meadows farm where they had a roof ripped off one of their main barns here that ho uh, housed uh, a hay and equipment down here. Uh, from talking to folks that are in the Harford County area, I am really thinking that this was more of a straight line wind event than a tornado event simply because we're not seeing the shearing from trees, but we are seeing a lot of down trees in this area, a lot of down big trees. Those straight line winds, by the way, form out of a thunderstorm and just don't have the rotation of a tornado, but they can be just as powerful. Some are calling it one of the worst thunderstorm systems to hit Harford County in quite a while. Down trees and power lines could be found throughout the entire county. Thank the Lord that no one got hurt and thank the neighbors that helped with clearing the um, the passage and also Harford County Public Works. Mark Palmer lost this huge 100 year old oak tree in his front yard. His neighbor moving his car out of the way just in time. Wow, it was almost like a big dinosaur falling <laughs> and a big thud. The damage is everywhere. A tree down on a house on Washington Street in Haverty Grace. A rare photo op for this 100 plus year old tree toppled over in Forest Hill and possible evidence of straight line winds here off Sandy Hook Road. It's probably one of the nastier thunderstorms that we've had probably in the last 10 or 15 years. Harford County Executive Barry Glassman told us at one point more than 70 roads throughout the county were closed, blocked by downed trees and power lines. DPW crews working through the night to get debris cleared so power could be restored. Really took a swath across the center of the county and we've uh, we had a lot of damage, including here off Edwards Lane, where this house was destroyed after a large tree fell on it and around the corner at the Church Mouse Meadows Farm. It wasn't a tornado. Mm. It was here. There's, I think I would call it a straight line, straight line wind mm. that came through here. Owner Trish Gilbert is assessing the damage after losing a roof to one of her barns and downed trees along her fence line. But she, like many others in Harford County, are thankful no one was hurt. We had fences down and trees down and roof down, but not the end of the world. All yeah. fixable. Perfect. <laughs> now back live here, we're, uh, this is the barn on the other side of the barn that we just showed you. And I wanted to show you something. There are these uh, wooden studs here that were ripped from the other side of this barn, wedged in the ground here to show you just how strong these winds were. These things sticking in the ground like missiles. Here's some ones, some smaller ones here that uh, don't even budge. So that should just give you an idea of how strong these winds were. There are still more than 10,000 people here in Harford County without power at this hour. Because of all these difficulties with the storms and closed roads, Harford County Public Schools will be closed tomorrow for activities. So just keep that in mind if you have kids uh, that are in the camp system there or uh, that are in summer school. Harford County Public Schools will be closed tomorrow because of all of this storm damage. And by the way, if you have uh, items that need to be charged, cell phones, things like that, Harford County libraries will be open until 7 o'clock tonight and same thing tomorrow so that folks can get anything they need charged or just a place uh, to get cool simply because they don't have uh, air conditioning in this heat. So keep that in mind. That's for our latest live here in Bel Air. I'm Lowell Belser, WBAL TV Love and News.